All nuclear units operated in Slovakia are VVR-440, V213 type. These pressurized water reactors have an evolutionary design, as each unit was completed at a different time and so incorporated additional state-of-the-art design solutions to improve the safety, reliability, and efficiency of the nuclear unit. Specific design features of the Slovak nuclear power plants are the relatively small power output, around 500 megawatts, and the large volume of cooling water in the primary circuit. It has up to six steam generators. As a result, we have large supplies of water in both Bohunice and Mokovce nuclear power plants. The primary circuit has a reinforced concrete envelope, the so-called containment with a barbitage system. It serves as a solid safety barrier. Let's look at how electricity is produced in a nuclear power plant. It all starts in the reactor. Nuclear fuel is the source of the heat we need to turn water into steam that spins the turbines. The enriched uranium, in the form of fuel pellets, is hermetically sealed in the fuel rod. 126 rods make up one fuel cartridge. The fuel undergoes a fission reaction in which the uranium nuclei fission and release a lot of heat energy. The coolant of the primary circuit, demineralized water, dissipates this heat. It also acts as a moderator, that is, a substance needed to slow down the free neutrons so that they continue to fission the uranium-235 nuclei in a controlled fission chain reaction. On the cold branch of the main circulation loop, thanks to the main circulation pump, the primary coolant flows into the reactor. It flows between the reactor pressure vessel wall and the reactor shaft and enters the reactor interior through the perforated bottom. It flows through the reactor core, which contains 349 fuel assemblies, 37 of which also have a boron steel superstructure. These control cartridges can be moved up or down in the core to increase or decrease the reactor's heat output. Heated water exits the reactor pressure vessel through the top spigot at a temperature of just under 300 degrees Celsius. Through the hot branch of the main circulation loop and the primary collector, the medium enters the steam generator. There, through heat exchange tubes, it transfers heat energy to the secondary water. This is where the hermetically separated nuclear circuit ends and the non-nuclear, secondary circuit begins. The primary circuit water has done its job and is returned from the steam generator tubes back to the reactor via the cold branch of the main circulation loop. Meanwhile, in the secondary circuit, the water in contact with the hot water tubes has turned into high-pressure steam. It reaches the turbine via the steam line and the main steam header. The steam supplied from the steam generators flows first into the high-pressure section of the turbine. It expands, striking the turbine blades, thus spinning the turbine. In the high-pressure section of the turbine, the steam transfers most of its energy. It then passes into the steam separator and superheater, where water particles are separated, and the steam is heated. 
It then travels to the two low-pressure stages of the turbine, where it transfers the rest of its energy and spins the other turbine wheels. The blades of the impellers are much larger in the low-pressure stage of the turbine than in the high-pressure stage. This is how we make the most of the steam energy. There is a generator on one shaft with all three turbine stages. In it, the rotor rotates 3,000 times a minute and its field induces a voltage in the stator winding. The three-phase electric current induced by this voltage has a frequency of 50 Hz. Each generator produces a rated current of approximately 3 times 10,000 amperes. The electricity produced is fed through the encapsulated power takeoff to the block transformer. Its voltage is changed from 15.75 kV to 400 kV and is fed into the Slovak power grid. While the electricity from the nuclear power plant is already on its way to you, the steam of the secondary circuit is condensed in a condenser after passing through the turbine. It is converted back into water and passes through the low-pressure regenerative heaters to the feed tank. And from there through the high-pressure heaters back to the steam generators, thus closing the secondary cooling circuit. In nuclear power plants in Slovakia, the condenser is cooled by tertiary circuit, by circulating cooling. It is the only circuit in a nuclear power plant that is open to the environment. In the cooling tower, at a height of about 10 meters, water is sprayed over the entire surface of the tower and falls into a catchment pool, being cooled by the air. Tiny water aerosol separates from the water and rises in a stack effect. It can be seen above the cooling towers and, from a distance, resembles clouds of steam. The cooled water from the pool below the tower passes through the circulating cooling water pumping station and returns to the condenser. About 300 liters of water per second evaporates from the tower, an adequate amount is pumped from the water tank at the power station. Circulating cooling, through cooling towers, is more environmentally friendly than flow-through cooling, because it does not return the hot water directly to the river.